Good afternoon everyone, thanks for tuning in again to another video. Today we are on the new boat. It's a Sailfish 290cc and I want to give you guys a quick walkthrough. So let's start back here. We got twin Yamaha 300s here. This max power 600 on this boat. And the one with the twin Yamahas because the Mercury engines run back order for about another year. So we've got twin 300s here. Got rod holders all through the back here. And this little spot for a tow bar. You've got your bilge access right here. Got a live well in the back of the boat. And we've also got another live well right here, leaning post. Then we've got a bait prep station here. Got some drawers for tackle storage. Got your wash down back here, more rod holders on either side. We've also got rod holders up top, and also the optional kingfish rod holders. Then you've got twin uh, fish boxes here in the deck. Coming up to the helm, we got two new Simrad NSXs on here on this boat. Went for the Simrad units because Garmin doesn't have any compatibility with third-party relief shading charts, and I use those a lot down here in Southwest Florida, where the standard like blue chip chart just doesn't cut it. Got a nice little storage area up front here. Then you've got more storage here. Inside you've got your head and a nice little sink over there. Got all your electronics, battery switches available, and then you got more pockets and more storage in there. It's pretty big. I can st I'm six feet tall and I can stand inside there. Coming up front, you've got a cooler seat here. I love this option. The the cooler seat because you can sit on and it's got a ton of utility with it. So got a very large cooler that came with it. Doubles as a seat. Got more storage up here in this compartment. Got a second anchor in there right now. Finally, you got more storage up front, right here. Goes all the way through, and it's the same on both sides. We got a ton of cup holders on this boat. Cup holder here, two more up front. There's a bunch in the back, so definitely enough room for all the drinks. Up front, you've got your windless access right here, and you've got a place for your windless here. We also got the uh, optional front rod holders up here. Here's a good shot of the boat from the top. But I think the uh, length overall is just under 31 feet. And this boat goes pretty quick. I've had it um, up above 55 miles an hour so far and it handles the seas pretty well. It's got a variable degree dead rise. So at the deepest point it's 24 and then it's all the way into 23 and 22 on the side just to get better fuel economy. So yeah, this boat really like it. I'm excited to create more content for you guys on this awesome fishing machine. Thanks for tuning in.